11 of Vlogmas. It is Friday and it's a beautiful sunny day. I was actually hoping to take a bit of a walk today. I hope I can squeeze that in. The boys have left for school, so I've gotten myself ready and I'm hoping to tick off a few things on my to-do list before they return. They're not really gone for that long, so I don't have that much time, but I have a little bit of work to do and I really want to finish my journaling and stationary supply organization. I've left it all out on my work table and haven't touched it in two days. I also haven't knit, it's just been really busy. I had some school stuff to help one of the boys with and yeah, so I'm gonna try to get as much as I can done before they get home and then there'll be more homework to help with and I'm really looking forward to a quiet evening. Fridays we always order in so it's a nice break and I wanna do some knitting and get to those cookbooks I was sharing and just finally exhale for the weekend. Before I go and start getting my to-dos done, um, even though I said I haven't knit for two days, I did actually pick up my socks late last night, which is unusual for me. I'm usually too tired at night to knit, but I just really was inspired and caught up on my first Advent sock. So I'm actually caught up to today. So it's day 11. I think this is 11 stripes and I've just started the first row of tomorrow's stripe because I couldn't help myself. And I finished the rib cuff on the second sock and I've just started the first color. So throughout the day, whenever I can steal a few moments, I'm gonna leave these uh, very close to me and work on the stripes on my second sock. I'm loving how they are turning out. I'm about to get some work done, but Obviously, I'll have to clean up all of this first because it's everywhere. I just kind of left it here the other night. It's all the stationary bits and pieces that I've been moving from pouch to pouch and streamlining. And I sort of got stuck because it's so silly. But I use my large cylinder pouches as a pencil case. And I have a few colors. This is the mustard one, which I love and I've been using for a long time. I'm also, I think I also have a brown one somewhere. And then I have these small ones. This is the sapphire blue, the dove gray. Oh, that looks pretty with that too. But I'm really tempted to switch it out and keep one of the pink ones for myself. I don't have that many in stock so I'm kind of debating if I should take it or not but it looks so pretty with my planner so I'm not sure what to do I might keep one we'll see so I'm just going to get all of this organized a little bit later I will share what's in my pouch or pouches and what's in my basket because I am putting a lot of it back into here and then I will share what I kind of keep on hand. But for now, I'm also pretty excited that I'm behind on a couple of my favorite Vlogmases. So I will share those with you today. Um, one of them is Chelsea from the Chelsea Makes Patreon account. I am a Patreon of hers and I love her videos. Chelsea is a sweet friend of mine and I just love catching up on her beautiful days with her two little girls and I'm pretty happy that I'm behind actually because now I have some good content while I do some work today. And another one that I am loving and it is new this year is Christina from The Cozy Knitter who is the dyer behind the Advent Skein of Yarn. Christina has done videos in the past but this is her first Vlogmas I think so I'm very excited. She's just caught up on a couple of days and I think I'm behind maybe two or three episodes. So I'm gonna catch up on hers today. Those are my two recommendations for you. And I will check in with all of my pouches and everything in a bit.
I decided to have a little knitting break after my toast this morning and I could not put it down while I watched some vlogs. And I finished the first sleeve of my Felix sweater, which feels great. I love it. I didn't do um, three inches of rib. I actually stopped, I think I did 10, 10 rounds and I really like the look of that. And then I grabbed a new ball of yarn I picked up the stitches for the second sleeve and the underarm stitches so I am ready to go on that and I'm really looking forward to working on this sweater over the weekend. I think now that that second sleeve is cast on it's really going to fly off the needles and then I can weave in the ends, block it and wear it this month. It feels really really nice and I'm just loving the black with these little flecks and the tweed in there so pretty and that is my beautiful stitch marker from woolen forest maria so pretty and now i think i'm just going to show you my two final pouches with my planner and i put them all into this basket but i'm going to show you what's inside of them and what i'm keeping out the second bag that I organized has a lot of pouches in it, but this is the Fringe Supply Company town bag that I know you can no longer get because they're no longer open. Um, there's the label on it, but you might be able to find one at a, a yarn shop somewhere if they still have any stock. I love this bag because it's really big and I can keep a lot of stuff in here. and. When I'm working in my journals, I do like to have a lot of options, and so I will share what I've kept in here. And I think I will start with all these pockets that are on the outside. So over here, let's see, I've got a little notepad in case I want to add this into um, a journaling page. And I have this little book of Kida washi, washi tape stickers. And I think most of these are from Paper Plus Cloth, along with the little case. And then I have a hand cream. And a lip balm. On the other side, I have a small watercolor paint set, just for backgrounds on pages. And I have this beautiful pen case or pen wallet from the Superior Labor Company, which I believe I got this one at Wonder Pens. So in here I have a little Ollie clip, my favorite fountain pens at the moment, a few more fountain pens inside. And I really like that I can just slide it into the front pocket. On the inside, I decided to use this beautiful leather pouch from Jezebel B. And I know it could be a beautiful notions pouch for my knitting notions, but I thought it would be really nice to use it for my journaling supplies. And so what I decided for now is to put in things like, like a correction tape, my glue pen, um, like a gold and white pen, my sticky stuff, some scissors, um, a little washi tape cutter and a pencil, an eraser, and also this little washi tape pen. So I just have the supplies to stick things in and cut them and do stuff like that. So I decided to try that out. It's so beautiful. And I decided not to keep pink pouch for myself because I do have so many and so I just switched it up and pulled out my black one. This is my large cylinder pouch and in here I keep everything that I didn't streamline out that was on my table. So some of my favorite mild liners, a few um, gel pens like the Sarasa pen, some water brushes, and these are some of my favorite pens or markers, these Pitt Artist Pens from Faber-Castell. So I just have all of the decorating stuff and highlighters and brush pens that I might use in my pages. 
And then I have quite a bit in here. So in one of my little patchwork pouches, I keep my small IV printer and the extra paper. So if I want to print photos, I have that. I do really like stamps, so I have a few more in here. Um, I have another letter stamp. This one is from uh, Kelly Perky. I have a couple more from Everyday Explorers, which are just things I might want to add in. I don't use those as much, but I do really like using these large numbers and these letters. So those are all from Everyday Explorers and Kelly Perky. So I do have an ink pad and an acrylic block for those in here. I have a date stamp, which I use really often. I also have a couple more stamp sets. I love this little set that I got. I think I got this at Michael's and it's just um, a typewriter font. I don't know if you can see that very well. And you can click them together and do headings or titles. And then I also love this little number set. I can't remember who they're by, but I know I got these at Paper Plus Cloth. So these are things that I usually use to decorate my daily pages when I'm journaling. I have another tin of those um, stickers. I have a sticker kind of book. This was from Paper Plus Cloth, and it's just a like a, a soft but like maybe vinyl covered book with plastic pages so you can keep any sticker sheets you have and I've been collecting some over the years so I do have um, a variety of stickers in here so if I want to decorate my pages I have lots to choose from in here I also have this really cute tin from Paper Plus Cloth and it was the perfect size to fit these really adorable stamps that I got. Um, I wonder if I can remember Oops, the name of them. I can't remember the name right now. It was a little bit hard for me to find them, but I will put them, I will try to find the name and I will put it on the screen. But I did find them in a, a couple different places. So they're just little stamps that have, like this one is folding laundry, there's shopping, there's a yoga stamp. And if I want to put those in my weekly spreads just to kind of document what I've been up to, sometimes I like to do that. I have another washi tape ring in here. I have some of those, I think they're called La Dolce Vita. Um, in a washi tape. And last, I have my favorite journaling pen for, not for actually journaling, but for my planner, like my planner notes. I really love this Pilot Multi Ball. It is the LM10FB. It's just a really fine tip pen that I like. I have this um, is this a pen or a pencil? This is another pen. I thought it was a pencil actually that I got from Wonder Pens. And I have a mild liner in a soft gray, which I really like. And that is it. So that's pretty much everything I need in this, in one spot to work in my Hobonichi, whether I'm doing just my weekly planning or if I want to do some journaling pages, I pretty much have everything I could want. And if I need anything else, I can come up here and find another pouch of pencil crayons or more paints or anything like that. But on a day-to-day -day schedule, this basket and this planner would be everything and then some that I could possibly need.